Hello, you remarkable child of God. Welcome to Bible Bread Time. This is Season 5, Episode 251. I'm your host, Dana, and in this podcast, I read a full chapter of the Bible in a way that I hope will help you fall asleep in heavenly peace. In this fifth season, we have already read through the fifth book of the Old Testament, which is Deuteronomy. And now we are in the fifth book of the New Testament, which is Acts. After I read the chapter from Acts, I will also read a full chapter from the book of Psalms and then finish with the Lord's Prayer. Now, if you'd like to support this ad free podcast with a love offering, we are on Venmo. You can just enter at Bible Bedtime or search for Bible Bedtime Podcast. All of the links are in the show description. And whatever love offering you can make is greatly appreciated, but it is never expected. I I am so glad when I just get a message from a listener or someone just uh, maybe gives a rating or a review. That blesses me tremendously, and I appreciate it so much. If you would like to reach out to me, you can send me an email directly at BibleBedtimePodcast at gmail.com. We are also on Facebook, and I know I get a lot of messages from listeners through Facebook, and it's wonderful to hear from you. Now, it is time to end your day. There's nothing else that you need to do today other than relax and prepare to get a good night's sleep. So, adjust the lights to the perfect level for sleeping. Put away any distractions. Snuggle up in bed into your favorite sleeping position and nestle your head into your pillow. Feel the pull of gravity holding your body and take comfort that God will protect you through the night. You don't need to think through anything else. You need to just let go and relax your mind and fall asleep. If you'd like to join me in taking three deep breaths, We can do that now. There's one, two, and three. Very good. Acts three. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer. At three in the afternoon. Now, a man crippled from birth was being carried to the temple gate, called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth walk, taking him by the right hand. He helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While the beggar held on to Peter and John, all the people were astonished and came running to them in a place called Solomon's Colonnade. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Men of Israel, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness? We had made this man walk, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has given this complete healing to him. As you can all see. Now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders. But this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Christ would suffer. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Christ who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. He must remain in heaven until the time comes for God to restore everything as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. For Moses said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from his own people. Indeed, all the prophets from Samuel on, as many as have spoken, have foretold these days. And you are heirs of the prophets and of the covenant God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, through your offspring, all 
peoples on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. Psalm 33 Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the ten-stringed lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his un failing love. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of his heart through all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all its great strength, it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Lord, even as we put our hope in you. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Psalm 2014, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Now it's time for you to go to sleep and sleep well. Sweet dreams. Good night.